Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Y'all watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy. Está viendo Deporte TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, Golden Boy Promotions CEO and promoter, Hall of Fame boxer, the Golden Boy himself, Oscar De La Hoya, did an interview today in which he's promoting his upcoming fight with his future superstar boxer, Ryan King Garcia. Uh, they will be fighting, Ryan Garcia will be fighting uh, Francesco February 14th, right? With that said, uh, Obviously, they did interviews and things of that nature to build up and promote the fight. So, Oscar De La Hoya was asked about his other fighter, four-division Mexican superstar boxer, Saul Canelo Alvarez, and his future plans, possibly facing uh, British UK superstar, uh, super middleweight. I believe Billy Joe Saunders is the um, WBO, if I'm not mistaken. I believe he's the super middleweight WBO world champion. Uh, but with that said, you know, uh, he was asked about uh, that fight possibly coming to fruition as there have been rumors and reports that that fight is all but done. Canelo Alvarez versus Billy Joe Saunders for a Cinco de Mayo weekend, May 2nd, right? Uh, with that said, Oscar De La Hoya uh, totally debunked that and said that that wasn't true. That's not an option. He don't know where that came from, but Billy Joe Saunders is not the front runner and he's not the first option. He will be going to sitting down with Canelo Alvarez uh, for a week. He'll spend a week over in Mexico and they were eyeing out and they will announce Canelo Alvarez's next plans. With that said, he was asked about the possibility of Canelo Alvarez facing now WBC middleweight world champion Jamal uh, Lions only Charlo, right? And he had this to say. I, I found this real interesting. He believes that Jamal Charlo and his team have been ducking Canelo Alvarez. You got it. You heard it. He believes that Jamal Charlo and his team were offered a huge deal to fight Canelo Alvarez, and they turned it down. He's stating that Jamal Charlo's team have turned down huge offers to fight Canelo Alvarez. I'm finding that very hard to believe, seeing as though Jamal Charlo was was hard pressed to fight Canelo Alvarez for the WBC mandatory spot. He was uh, doing everything possible to put himself in position to fight Canelo Alvarez. And then when he became the WBC mandatory and Canelo Alvarez held the WBC middleweight uh, title, Canelo Alvarez vacated the belt, became the franchise champion, and Jamal Charlo was very disappointed that he didn't get the opportunity to fight Canelo for the belt. He was instead awarded the title and he fought Brandon Adams uh, and and uh, um, in a title defense, his first title defense was against Brandon Adams after being awarded uh, just hours hours previous to the fight, the WBC title after Canelo Alvarez vacated and became. This is where the uh, um, whole situation arose of the, the fran WBC franchise champion. So Canelo uh, Ch Jamal Charlo has been chasing Canelo Alvarez since they were at 154 pounds. He's been chasing him at 160 pounds. He's been putting himself in position to land a big fight with Canelo Alvarez. But miraculously, Oscar De La Hoya believes that somebody on Jamal Charlo's side is doing Jamal Charlo a disservice. As he said that they offered him a big, huge, lucrative opportunity, big, huge money to fight uh, Canelo Alvarez, and it was turned down. He don't. He's saying that maybe uh, his team has deceived him and didn't make him aware of the huge offer that they was making uh, Jamal Charlo. Uh, and his team kept it from him because obviously they don't believe he could beat Canelo Alvarez or they don't think the deal was big enough. So Oscar De La Hoya is now saying that the ship has sailed for Canelo Alvarez to face uh, Jamal Charlo and the fight will never happen. Wow. Wow. He said that ship has sailed and it will never come to fruition. We offered them a huge lucrative deal and opportunity, and they turned it down. They didn't want to fight. Wow. I'm finding that very hard to believe, and this is very disappointing. As uh, Jamal Charlo has put himself and placed himself in position to get that fight for years. And we all know, and all of the receipts prove, that Canelo Alvarez was the one that did not want the Jamal Charlo fight. 
Now it's coming out. Now Oscar De La Hoya, who wouldn't even discuss the opportunity of Jamal Charlo, he would only say every time Jamal Charlo was mentioned, Oscar De La Hoya would say, well, everybody's an option. Yes, we would love to have that fight for uh, Canelo with, with Jamal. Right. This is what Oscar said, but never made. So now he's claiming that he made a serious offer and Jamal Charlo and his team turned it down. That's very disappointing. And this is the issue that people have when it comes to Canelo Alvarez and uh, um, the thought of him, you know, cherry picking his opponents opposed to fighting the toughest opposition out there. Now, I know people are going to point to Sergey Kovalev and say, well, he just dared to be great, went up to 175 pounds and took on uh, Sergey Kovalev for his WBO title. Well, Sergey Kovalev, did that look like the same version of Sergey Kovalev that fought Anthony Yard, his previous fight, just months prior? No, it didn't, right? Uh, he fought Rocky Fielding for the 168-pound uh, title, but he won't fight Caleb Smith or any of the other 175-pound 168 pound uh, uh, fighters, right? Why not fight Caleb Plant? Why not fight, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, David Benavidez? If you're gonna go to 75, what happened to Arthur Better Beef, Dimitri Bevo? What happened to those type of fighters? Why aren't they being picked? Why aren't they being chosen? What happened to Demetrius Andrade, who's under the same network, the Zone, and you do deals with with Matchroom CEO and promoter Eddie Hearn? Demetrius Andre is an Eddie Hearn fighter, Matchroom's fighter, the zone fighter under the same network as Canelo Alvarez, right? He's also been chasing Canelo Alvarez since they were at 154 pounds. But Canelo Alvarez just miraculously and conveniently seemed to be uh, maneuvering right around all of these fighters. Jamal Charlo, Demetrius Andre mainly, right? So it's no secret that there's certain styles that Canelo Alvarez tries to avoid. He did not, Oscar De La Hoya did not want Canelo Alvarez to face, to face off against Eris Londi Lara because of his slick style. This is unbelievable. And it's, it's, it's absolutely disgusting in my opinion. To, pr to try to place this on Jamal Charlo's doorstep and act like he was the one that prevented this fight from happening is absolutely absurd. Point blank and period. So Jamal Charlo versus Canelo Alvarez, don't look for it to happen because Oscar De La Hoya just clearly let it be known that that ship has sailed is his, his exact words. We offered him a huge lucrative deal and he didn't want to take it. Now that ship has sailed and it would never happen. Unbelievable. One of the best fights in the sport of boxing. Amazing. So you can look to note that Demetrius Andre versus Canelo Alvarez will never happen either. But that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hit like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Raw. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Jasmine. Thank you for watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, soy Jasmine. Gracias por ver Sangre Azul Deportes TV. Gracias.